Welcome back to Daily Reddit Stories, let's start to story. AITA for not giving my mom a key to my place with my girlfriend? I'm 25, and I've been dating my girlfriend Lacey, 24 for 6 years. We started dating when she was a freshman in college, and honestly I was smitten the moment I saw her. After a few years of saving, we decided to buy a place together. We ended up buying a townhouse last month, with a little help from Lacey's dad. Now, there's some background that explains why I didn't give my mom a key to our new place. My mom has never liked Lacey. She's always had something to complain about. Lacey's dyed hair, her revealing clothes, her tattoos, and even her part-time job while she's pursuing a PhD in neuroscience. It's like my mom has a problem with everything about her. And honestly, if she can't be civil to someone who's been nothing but kind to her, I don't want her having access to our home. I know she'll intrude. A couple of weeks ago, we had a housewarming party for our parents. After dinner, while we were all sipping coffee in the living room, my mom asked me when she'd be getting an emergency key. I told her we gave one to our friends because they're closer to us, which was a lie. We actually gave a key to Lacey's parents. She got upset, saying that emergency keys should only be for family and that she needs one. I told her she didn't need one, and if something happened, our friends could help. I could tell she was hurt, but she dropped it for the moment. The next day, she called me, sobbing and accusing Lacey of plotting against her. I told her it was our decision to give the key to our friends and that Lacey wasn't some villain in this situation. My mom then got angry, saying I couldn't keep covering for Lacey, and I ended the call. Since then, I've been getting a barrage of guilt tripping texts from both my mom and dad saying I'm breaking her heart by shutting her out. I took some advice from people who commented and sent my mom a text saying something like, No, you're not getting a key, and that's my decision based on how you've treated Lacey throughout our relationship. I don't want her feeling unwelcome in a home she also owns. You and I both know you'd soup around and show up uninvited, and I won't tolerate that. You need to let go of this competition with Lacey because I will always choose her. My mom is furious and continues to send nasty messages, so I've blocked her for now. I also sent her a final text saying I was disappointed in her for not considering anyone else's feelings and that if I reach out again, it'll be on my terms, and I won't hesitate to reblock if she contacts Lacey like that again. I feel torn. On one hand, I'm standing up for my relationship and my girlfriend, which feels right. On the other hand, I hate that my mom is hurt and that her friends are attacking me. It feels like I'm being punished for defending my space and my relationship. I'm also worried about why Victoria felt it was okay to pursue my boyfriend so aggressively. It's making me question her behavior and how she handles boundaries. I've been thinking about whether there was a better way to handle it, like having a private conversation with her about respecting personal space or just letting my boyfriend deal with it. But in that moment, with everyone around and her being so bold, I felt like I had no choice but to speak up. So here I am, dealing with the fallout, and hoping things will settle down. AITA for refusing to remove my daughter's lock until my brother-in-law and his daughters move out? My brother-in-law, Sammy, lost his house right after his divorce about 10 months ago. A couple of months back, he moved in with us, bringing along his 18-year-old twin daughters, Olivia and Sloane. My wife and I have a 16-year-old daughter, Zoe. Zoe and her cousins aren't super close, but they get along, or so I thought. Olivia and Sloane have shown zero respect for Zoe's privacy. They waltz into her room as if it's their own, taking whatever they want, makeup, phone accessories, clothes, even her school laptop. Zoe complained a lot, and I asked the girls nicely to respect her space and stop taking her stuff. My wife and Sammy didn't see the big deal. They're just girls, they said. This is typical teenage behavior. But I wasn't having it. The last straw was when Zoe saved up for over a month to buy a $60 and MAC makeup kit. She was so excited about it, but then Sloane took it without asking and ruined it by mixing all the shades together. Zoe was devastated. I told my wife and she said she'd ask Sloane to apologize. But that wasn't enough for me, I got Zoe a lock for her door. She even started moving her valuable stuff out of the house to keep it safe. Can you blame her? When Sammy and the girls saw the lock, they flipped out. 
The girls were furious, and Sammy went off, saying his daughters weren't thieves, and that it's normal for girls to borrow each other's stuff. He even had the nerve to say Zoe could just get another makeup kit for $15 and at Walmart and shouldn't be buying adult makeup in the first place. He suggested that my wife needed to fix this defect in Zoe's personality, implying she was trying to act older than she is. Sammy accused me of babying Zoe, being overprotective and enabling her. I told him this was between me and my wife, but then she shamed me for putting a lock on Zoe's door. She said it was wrong for her cousins to see that and accused me of keeping them from spending time with Zoe. She demanded I take the lock off, but I stood my ground. I told her the lock isn't coming off until Sammy and his girls are out of our house. Now, my wife is mad at me, saying her family is going to hate me for this. I reminded her that I was the one who let Sammy and his daughters move in, something her own family refused to do. If they had stepped up, we wouldn't be dealing with all this drama at home. We're now living in this awkward, silent treatment zone. Sammy and the girls barely talk to us, and my wife is still upset. I hate to say it, but my wife's been acting like a total hypocrite lately. She's always valued privacy, but when it comes to Zoe, she doesn't seem to care. Even when I told her how Zoe was moving her things to a friend's house, just to keep them safe, she still thought Zoe was in the wrong. Zoe now feels like she's done something terrible just for wanting a little privacy. Sammy and the girls are using this silent treatment as a guilt trip, and it's starting to get to her. It's crazy how something so small, like a lock, can make such a big impact. Since I put the lock on Zoe's door, the atmosphere in our home has completely shifted. Sammy and the girls barely look at us now, and when they do, it's with cold, distant stares that make it clear, they blame us for everything. Zoe's room, once filled with laughter and music, now feels like a fortress where she hides to escape the judgment. I can see the toll it's taking on her. She's quieter, more reserved, and it's like the light in her eyes has dimmed. My wife, though, that's what hurts the most. She's always been my rock, the one I could count on to have my back. But now, it feels like she's slipping away, caught between her loyalty to her brother and her responsibility to our daughter. Every time we talk about it, the conversation ends in frustration with more walls going up between us. She keeps saying I'm overreacting, that I'm being too protective, but how can I not be? Zoe's her daughter, and she deserves to feel safe in her own home. Thank you for listening to the whole story. Wishing you a wonderful day.